How's it going, everybody? Uh, Kale here. Um, well, I called it. Uh, Avengers uh, came in second to Deadpool, which did $130 million. Uh, I had a feeling Deadpool wasn't going to be the uh, juggernaut that uh, Avengers was. And next week, Solo is going to come out. And Solo is a it's a mixed bag because a lot of people want to hate it. The, uh, the guys on the internet uh, are paying attention to the uh, Rotten Tomato score. Looking for any kind of uh, like unnatural uptick as possible. Like any kind of... Uh, like shady math and all that and the idea being like I was telling someone today like people are treating their fandoms like their religion and uh, when someone takes over their religion it's basically uh, uh, like a tyrannical situation for them so like I get it it's just that I'm not like as deep into it as they are so I, my dad doesn't even want to see Solo and he wants to see all the movies I mean and the problem is it's so manufactured like you're having a guy becoming a dude who was only played by one other guy on screen uh, in any real capacity and he had the role for 30 40 years and he's just that much more iconic than uh, he is. I mean, I, there's so much Harrison Ford in Solo that it's in Han Solo that, that it's going to be a hard thing to top off. So, all right. So that's going to be an interesting one to follow up on on Friday. Now, the. Maybe you guys can hear me better with, uh, it is hot out. New Jersey is mid low 80s right now. Uh, my car is an oven. Um, I leave my windows cracked. I don't care if bugs crawl in here or whatever. It's just a pain in the ass uh, getting into a really hot car and dealing with that. So, let's see, I finished, um, Monkey, the new legend, or the or the new legend of Monkey. Uh, it's an Australian show, and Australians have a very interesting um, way of doing things. Like the the spe the graphics are like they're definitely above uh, some uh, Asian countries' graphics because I've seen some graphics. Uh, like, unless it's a high-profile project, they're kind of uh, middling compared to America. But the way they approach it works. Um, like, Rio, like, Xena, Hercules um, approach to, uh, like, CG and uh, special effects. And the choreography is just that much better than... Uh, some American shows. Uh, so, Monkey is uh, Journey to the West for millennials, I guess, and it really does work. But me not knowing anything about it other than it's an adaptation of Journey to the West, uh, no idea uh, what to expect. Pretty damn good. Uh, I judge things based on how many good shots are there, how many interesting moments are there, uh, like, are there things that just catch your attention, and by that, uh, <coughs> uh, level, like, it was a really good show. Let's see, what else? Uh, went out and partied on Friday night in the city, uh, that's always fun. Uh, what else I do? I saw Deadpool uh, yesterday. Deadpool 2. 
Now, let me begin by saying it's a sequel. Which is, it's got to be the first one all over again, but it can't be the first one all over again. That's how all sequels work. Like, you're trying to get at that magic that you had with the first one, that uh, it's almost uh, unrecreatable. It's, like, you have expectations put on you, you have people's attention, and this movie did not disappoint. Uh, it's maybe not as good a story as the first one, but the first one was heavy origin, and you can't, like, uh, like, it's very rare that, like, you have a story that takes, uh, that improves upon the origin. Uh, like, you have to hit the ground running, and you have to, like, you only have 90 minutes, or Ryan Reynolds says he doesn't like the idea of two-hour movies, that you're supposed to be, uh, like, more concise. Like, things have to be, like, snappy to be funny. And this movie was funny. Uh... It had a lot of the same jokes in different places from the first one and this one. And it had um, a lot of uh, like R moments. Like, there's a reason why the movie is R besides uh, a lot of cursing. The, there's a lot of surprises in there I'm not going to go into. But let me just say, so good. Just so good. And there's... I've been following some interviews. I don't watch interviews until after uh, I see the movie, just so that I can have my opinion uh, formed before I get influenced by others. The, I'm betting that there was multiple versions... Uh, in the pre-screening stages than there were in the, the wide release. Because I'm hearing people talk about jokes that weren't in the movie. I'm seeing, hearing people, like I'm seeing in the trailers, jokes that were not in the movie. So I think that's uh, uh, one of the better ones. And plus, when you follow the production, like, like a person um, passed away during the making of the movie and it was a uh, like a, um, like a like a uh, race bike uh, motorcyclist who was given a bike that uh, was much bigger than anything she'd ever handled before and she wasn't a stunt person she was mo she was a like a racer and like like, gotta respect these things, folks. I mean, the, like, the, the stunt woman who wasn't really a stunt woman ended up crashing, and uh, she didn't make it. And there was this one part of the, of the movie where I thought it could be in there, but uh, I know they wouldn't have used the footage for the most part, but the, uh, like, there was nothing that would suggest the... Uh, because the, the woman who was doing it was doubling for uh, Zazie Beats, uh, who plays Domino. Which, by the way, Domino was one of those characters in the comics where I could just, like, take it or leave it. I mean, like, Domino, like, there's... I'm trying to think. She's always the chick that's standing next to Cable. That's... Uh, my understanding of the character. Uh, mercenary, uh, can control her own luck, um, and in the movie, like, there's a really great sequence, uh, for Domino, and, uh, what makes it even better is, uh, the commentary from Deadpool, because the star of the movie is Deadpool, and there's a lot of, uh, meta, there's a lot of, um, in-jokes, there's uh, like a little bit of Ryan Reynolds' humor in there too that's not like Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool but Deadpool is not Ryan Reynolds but uh, the Cable on the other hand he's good like 
there was at least two or three fight scenes between Deadpool and Cable that I will remember because, like, it was part joke, part, um, uh, like, really intense. Like, I've never seen that before. And, like, I would recommend people go watch that movie just for those fight scenes. Uh, the comedy, the... And I don't know how, how, like, I don't know how much stock to put in the closing credit scenes because the closing credit scenes are very comedic, but they're also, um, uh, they raise enough issues where you have to ask yourself, is this going to be a real thing? Uh, because, uh, Uh, it's funny. It really is funny. The, and the action's really good. Um, like, there was a couple of... Like, the story itself isn't as good. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, what... Would have made the story better. Or what story they could have done to follow up on... Um, everything. And... I honestly think, like, once... I hope X Factor is the movie that uh, integrates the Marvel Universe with Deadpool. Um, just because it's going to be a lot better if that's the case than in reintroducing the X Men, reintroducing uh, everybody, and then having to have uh, the X Force brought about again. So. I will say this about Josh Brolin as Cable. I believed him. Like, like as a character, he wasn't really that defined, but I believed him. So, all right, guys. Uh, let you go about your day. I'm about to go buy a new battery for my phone so that hopefully I can actually uh, have consistency in my battery from now on. So, peace.